Scorpio. Let's just clear the air a bit. Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading. So it comes to you when it's supposed to. It's your reading. It's timeless. This channel is actually filled with timeless messages. So if any of them call to you, it's because it's your message. There's something in there that you need to hear. If you're looking for personal readings, I do do those. Check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com so you can look through the services and choose the one that's right for you and you can schedule and book right there. Scorpio. Scorpio. There's a lot that is focused toward the future. The first card out was Nightingale, love is all around, but it was in reverse. And I'm not necessarily sure what that means because it may not be that it's big and it's all around and it's like, like gravitating around you, but that it's here, you already have it. You could also be feeling isolated, but I'm not getting that vibe here this is Gemini energy, could be something that you're the one that has to say, but let's get into this because we have three other cards that just fell on top of it. Make your dreams real. This is spider web. And then we have know your worth. And then slow and steady wins the race. Every essence that I'm picking up here can be filtered down into a very distinct message, Scorpio. And that is, you're kidding yourself. Because there's actually something that you are trying desperately to create that is not there and never will be. And you are an extremely good weaver of of reality. You can spin it and predominantly fool yourself for an extended period of time as you continue to uphold what you've decided is the truth. And all the while hiding this truth that deep down inside I'm sure that you've already picked up on. There is something that you're missing. What is that? What is it? It's almost like everything is coming out in the future because it's like, okay, if I keep doing it, it'll get there. If, okay, if I keep doing it, it'll get there. It'll get there, it'll get there, it'll get there. And the way that the cards are stacked, this is deceptive because it's based on a moot point to begin with. As if you can take something that never was and it's, it's not like manifestation. It, it's, like, it's like you had the answer and the reality was revealed, you just didn't like it. And so 
let me see if I can manipulate it into a different thing. And this is the act of actively doing that. This is change direction. So there's something here, you, somebody has been thinking, I don't want to stay where I'm at. I want to move in a different direction. The thing that's keeping them there is, okay, but I can make what I have different. I can make it, I can make this work because this is the devil I know instead of the devil I don't know. But your heart, it's almost like you, you hear this calling. You're supposed to go someplace else. This isn't supposed to be where you're headed anymore. There just seems to be, I'm, I'm not a, like a, a lack of willingness to let go. Then we have the King of Swords, a decision, a clear decision, a decision even maybe to connect, to get married, to make something happen. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune come out and lots of opportunities. Okay. Let's see where those opportunities are coming from, Scorpio. This is air sign, masculine. And then we have the Four of Wands. Discernment. Discernment, Scorpio, about where you belong. Wheel of Fortune. It's basically telling you that you have a choice this week. And if you make that choice based on what your truth is, the truth, not what you've tried to convince yourself or what somebody else has tried to convince you, but the truth, there is a great deal of abundance that is coming, but it requires letting go of, of what for some reason it's been so difficult for you to let go. I mean, Wheel of Fortune is, it's that time to release. And the tricky part here, Scorpio, is it feels counter to what you think is right, but you, okay, you know that it's right to let go. This is an adept of your soul that there is, there is, there is just truth. But our stubbornness and pride can oftentimes be, we can easily mistake them both for tenacity and conviction. And that's where the disguise is coming because it's tenacity and conviction and this commitment to, but this is as I've seen it, but it was sideways. It's not upright. It's sideways. It's almost like you're, you're tethered to a decision you made back here. You're trying to stretch it into the future. But in the future, it, there's nothing there anymore. It's empty. This was a cycle that was supposed to be finished. And it seems counterintuitive to decide to release. But the clarity here is coming from just the connection and the knowing of where it is I really belong. It's almost like a discernment suddenly, a realization or a clarity that comes this week about who I really connect with. So it's where the love is gone versus where the love absolutely is or it's thriving and it's growing. There is a full moon in Aries this week, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's pick a moon card. Remember, there's always an extended reading, and I hope that you guys will join me. Your hard work is paying off. That's okay. New moon in Capricorn. A lot of opportunities that are opening up. This could be quite literally for work. You've been doing some great stuff. Oh, I understand. <sighs> Scorpio. Okay. It's almost like you're at a point or you reached a point where you were working really hard on a specific project. This would have been a personal goal or endeavor, not a relationship. 
and you've reached that point in in your life or in your career where you've earned a lot this is a, a huge opening when it comes to a great deal of success with what you have worked really hard to achieve but it really requires you letting go of that old standby security blanket of whatever it is guys could be a relationship it is definitely a relationship i'm picking up that it is absolutely a relationship i don't know if it's romantic or a friendship that something's just not translating to where you're headed but your obligation and maybe even a little guilt which doesn't mean you should be feeling it but there is that interpretation of why am i ready to move on from this situation this relationship and it's because as you've grown, maybe somebody else hasn't. It's time for something here to naturally expire if you will allow it to because there seems to be a sense of, no, I can still try, I can still make this work, I can still figure it out. Is that true? The hanged man is here. No, that will make you stuck. And it's, it's basically saying that it's what stalled you and made it things take this long to begin with. Because when we don't, we don't realize that energy is, it impacts everywhere. So say, you know, it's like you think, you think maybe your professional life isn't impacting your love life or vice versa. But that's not true. If you have a blockage where you're, you're separating from your, yourself, you know the truth and you're denying it and you're trying to, you know, manipulate so you don't have to face it because it's something you don't want to face. There's a block that happens or a tear that happens. So energy, something is not letting energy pass. And then we think, well, why is this so, so difficult in all areas of my life? It's because you, there's this one area that you need to unclog. And it's blocking everything up. It's like when you have a clogged artery and your heart gets impacted, it impacts everything. It's like, it's like that. It's something is, is like you've got to let this go to let everything flow because you've been not wanting to let something in. You've been waiting, hanging out. It's been stopping things up. So what is this love is all around? Why is it in reverse? What, what is happening? Um, we have a truce or a, we have four of, it says you need a break. You need, you need R and R Scorpio. This is not a great time to push and maybe not even a great time to make a decision to cut something or somebody off, but it is a good time to reflect on the situation as it is, not the way you're trying to see it. And this, it's saying you will, you will absolutely encounter the truth in a palpable way this week so that by next week you can be ready to make decisions based on the truth as opposed to the way you wanted it to be. We have page of wands. There's, there's a new opportunity here. Maybe a new interest or a new passion. And it's, it's like in order to allow yourself to experience that, you're going to have to mourn the past is what I heard. Mourn what's over and accept this accept that as being over because there's some you know so many times i i've heard recently <sighs> grief is tough and yes we grieve all so we don't just grieve when something dies you know something that doesn't just die when a physical death occurs it an ending we grieve endings the problem is we get stuck in the sadness because the sadness is the last thing we experienced. It's the last interaction we had with whatever ended. And so we feel if we hold on to the sadness, then we honor and continue to hold on to 
that person, that relationship, um, that situation, because it's our last experience, the sadness, the shock, the stress of it ending. And so we perpetuate by holding on to it, we perpetuate this, this trauma situation. And we anger ourselves, we frustrate ourselves, and we hurt ourselves over and over again. There's been a lot of hurt here. And there's been a lot of suffering, and now it's time to mourn it and allow it to pass. Page of Wands is here saying it is time for new. It is time for a fresh start. And this is absolutely Scorpios, 100% dependent upon. accepting that someone something or some situation is gone and it, it will not be coming back it's like in order to fill the empty space you must acknowledge it keeping it filled with that toxicity is just pretending there's something still there it isn't now we haven't gotten the death card yet but th this is what it's feeling like what is scorpio supposed the Hierophant is here. There was an expectation of long-term commitment, marriage, or profitability. There was that expectation. The expectation is helping, is helping to hurt you, to get in the way. The expectation was something that it, it never was. And so failure may be part of what you perceive as yourself. But that's just not true because it could never have been meant to be. Your decision that it was meant to be does not mean it was meant to be. So it was a set that perception is where you're getting the disappointment from. When in reality, it was karmic. It was there to teach you and help you grow and help you expand. And it was supposed to be beautiful in order to expand. It's like having to change out. I mean, this is the scorpionic cycle. It's like my plants were dying. Uh, and I was like, what's wrong? I mean, I'm putting, I'm watering them regularly. I'm giving them what I think is the right sun. Like, what's going on? And I realized I haven't changed the soil in two years. They've got no nutrients left. It's like you have. It was. It was meant to be while it was. And this is like, uh, let it go and change out that soil. There's a new relationship coming. And Libra season. It's time to plant this new seed. Let's go to the extended, guys. I will see you there.